Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. As always, please do like, share, subscribe, and we want to invite everybody to join us on Patreon again, where there are exclusive videos several times a week. And here you see the Chinese foreign minister stating that the United States has sought to overthrow more than 50 foreign governments, grossly interfered in elections in at least 30 countries, and attempted to assassinate more than 50 foreign leaders. Sounds like words of war, does it not? Well, it, it sounds like they're, you know, kind of painting a picture to, to do something about it, yeah. Yeah, or to justify what, what comes next. And, and again, the reality is that's probably pretty accurate. Uh, it probably doesn't include even close to everything, but so has every other government, because ultimately this is really one system uh, that is operating in a manner where it appears to fight itself, but that is the whole purpose. Keep humans engaged in trauma. Trauma, trauma, trauma lowering their frequency and vibrations. I thought this was um, almost comical in, in a kind of very, very dark way. China's hidden $710 billion uh, military mega budget exposed. A bombshell report from American Enterprise Institute alleges that China's true defense spending might soar to a staggering $710.6 billion tripling the official $229 uh, billion dollar figure. This massive underreporting includes overlooked costs like research development, retirement, paramilitary forces, elevating China from a mere pacing challenge to a dominant pacing threat, almost matching the U.S.'s $800 billion budget. Now, you know, one of the big takeaways, too, is uh, that somebody made a comment farther on down saying, yeah, but what does China get for its money compared to what the U.S. gets? Because, again, we, we're getting the little rubber gaskets for $10,000 mm -hmm. that literally cost pennies to um, produce. And, yes, you know, our military budget is absolutely a money laundering scheme. But, you know, now... Now China is going to be us, so to speak, on on the world scene. They will be the, the dominant military force. And, you know, they're going to have um, just a, a shift in apparent power structure on the planet. Because in China, you know, people aren't really able to speak back as much. So they need the U.S. taken over. Um, because the U.S. citizens, you know, won't allow their government to go past a certain point. Uh, and the citizens are, are very, very well armed compared to anywhere else in the, in the world. So this is why uh, it's slated for this big WW3, which is very, very, very close. Uh, by the way, this is Michael Yan again, and he's done a lot to expose... Uh, all the roots um, that have been used by China, as well as you know, countless others from so many different nations, to sneak military personnel into the U.S. Uh, via the Darien Gap. And this has been ongoing for years, decades. In fact, the infiltration uh, was well underway back in the 80s, where you had that Soviet defector saying, you've already been in infiltrated back in the 80s when it was the Soviet Union before it broke up. So, you know, again, what happens when China takes over? Well, look to what happened when Mao finally got into power. Look to what happened when Stalin got into power. You know, they consolidate their power and they did starve out just we don't know how many but this is estimating 15 to 50 million starved out under china's great famine and even now you can find videos of basically uh chinese troops going to farms and destroying food and you know beating uh the farmers because they were growing stuff that they weren't supposed to grow on their own land but but then again you know, everything belongs to the state. And, you know, we have an illusion here in this country because the reality is in a national emergency, they could take any of our properties 
Um, you know, due to a national emergency that's been put into effect a long time ago. And not only that, but in the United States, they could take your property, if, if you're unaware of this, and put you to work uh, in a national emergency. They could just basically draft you into a, a civilian workforce. And all this is, is in the law books. Mm-hmm. You know, and then they give it that name, the Patriot Act. Yes, the Patriot Act. And uh, I'm, I'm looking at this uh, picture here, and down on the lower quadrant it says, I'm unable to generate images depicting tragic or distressing historical events such as the famines during Mao Zedong's Great Leap Forward as it falls under sensitive content policy restrictions. So it's becoming more and more difficult to even get the truth out there. I think right now, while we can speak, while we're able to speak, uh, we need to get the information out, do the best we can. I really feel that record numbers of people are, are waking up. They're open to new information because just things are not quite working out in, in their lives. Things are not working out, even though that they're following the 3D rules and so on. Something's just not fair when you look at your check and you got to figure out when did the government work 40 to 50 percent of your of your time, you know, and then where is that money going? It's obviously not going to schools. It's not going into anything that's benefiting the cities, the inner cities, those who really truly need help are not getting help. So I think we definitely need to speak up now while we can. Yeah. And then again, you have Stalin and uh, the Holo Demor, which is another famine that killed millions. And this was again uh, after there's a change in political leadership. And then they look to just basically get rid of undesirables in their eyes again to lighten the load and really, you know, get rid of any sort of competition. So. Food has been used uh, as a weapon of war uh, f- for all of the Kali Yuga, all of the Dark Age. And, you know, again, they've infiltrated the uh, <laughs> education facilities, which really education facilities, n- n- no, you know, off, off places of higher learning. These are indoctrination centers. They've always been indoctrination centers for the vast bulk of them. And and again, if you want to get anywhere in this world, uh, you have to go through their systems of indoctrination and then you get rewarded. And, you know, here you see this is in Portland. Uh, obviously, they always use us to uh, get rid of ourselves, destroy ourselves, um, break apart everything that this go around has built, so to speak, and then they just do it all again, time and time and time again. We saw lightning hitting uh, the Statue of Liberty, right? Now we see lightning hitting the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, France is, is going to be in for a, a tough go. Uh, as is the U.S. in these times and pretty much all of the NATO nations. Here you have a fire broke out in the Deal factory, which produces the Iris-T air defense system in Berlin, Germany. Well, that's just, maybe it was lightning. Uh, the sky looks okay. Well, yeah, you never know. I'm sure it was nothing. And meanwhile, you have floods all over. This is in Germany as well. <clears throat> People reportedly trapped in their cars. The size and the scope of the floods is really, I feel just the last few weeks, it's, it's really seems to be embedding itself into the psyche of the masses in a way that it hasn't, I don't think, in the past. Even though we've been looking at this, this is again down in Rio Grande do Sul in Brazil. Um, just massive, massive. Look at that church. Ooh, wow, you know. Everywhere we look, we're running into these things, and Sita's very concerned about that. And, you know, the loss from these floods will be unprecedented. Well, <clears throat> not really unprecedented, just that we haven't seen these things uh, in our times, so to speak. But these things do happen, and I think they happen over and over and over again. 
In the UK, you have a new thunderstorm warning from the Met Office, 200,000 lightning strikes overnight. All sorts of records are just, you know, falling one after another. And people are noticing the strange frequencies on the planet, strange frequencies that keep showing up in the radars. Um, Be very aware if you're in Seattle or um, Los Angeles, San Francisco, or even if you're over in uh, St. Louis or New Madrid, Missouri, I would just be aware because it does feel like the big ones are very, very close. And here you see we have a 5.0, and this is basically a little bit northwest of uh, Seattle. Again, <clears throat> these are the times that are going to produce uh, the great quakes as we uh, look. Otherwise, there's really you know nothing nothing huge of note it it's been kind of swarming in california but it always kinds of swarms in california that's not a song right the sun's always shining in california that was something like a song there it never rains in california there we go now we're getting it but we've seen unusual quakes in many areas as well and we did have an x 1.6 uh, Solar Ham's site, uh, their regular website, it's been up and down constantly. He's doing some sort of um, change in uh, what he uh, uses over there, but he's still posting on Twitter. And then, of course, we could go to Noah, Noah as well. Uh, so in X1.6, this, uh, this will impact us one way or another. Absolutely. So we've had a G3 uh, and an R3 um, going on in in the last 24 hours. This one, you know, is on the northern side, but but basically facing towards us. So, you know, th- all these events from the sun, again, Cindy and I look at them as positive. And eventually when we get some bigger ones, uh, hopefully it will fry out all of uh, Mr. Musk's technology up there. That would be a true blessing, and I know some people wouldn't agree with that. Mm. Well, you know, you you it's kind of like a catch twenty two because you never want anyone who relies and depends on any technology for their health and safety to lose that ever, ever, ever. But there's always another way. I mean, there's another way to do things. Um, looking into nature to find whatever you need but then again it it is really hard because you look at that technology and it's slowly but surely going to control us and I think the wise thing to do is to not take the steps forward continually and follow the technology because that's their carrot that's their carrot that's going to lead us into a cage and then the curtains are going to be drawn or curtains are going to be opened and we're going to realize oh this is a cage and it's going to at that point it's too late so as we look and you see the state tornado count uh wow there's a lot of tornadoes out this year already a lot of them you know you have iowa at 55 you have kansas at 50 um we have let's see nebraska's over there 45 Four, Oklahoma 40, Texas 43, Florida 34, 43 over in Ohio, 40 in Indiana, Missouri's got 33. Uh, it's an active, active season. Uh, they're, the forecast so far on the hurricane season looked to be very active as well. This was a, a tornado on the ground, <clears throat> excuse me, south of Hawley, Texas. And there was a storm chaser who ended up, he's, he's actually the one taking, uh, was taking video and uh, saw a family that was struggling and literally ran in there and saved them, uh, Freddie McKinney. And this is the family. Uh, amazing. You know, again, the, these times are going to try people, but we're really going to get to see what people are made of when their life may be on the line and they stick their neck out even more to save others. That is, you know, something that's very, very commendable. Uh, Again, look at this. It really gets me thinking mud flood, mud flood, mud flood. And what areas are they going to totally bury this time? 
and which ones are going to be uh, okay, you know. <laughs> There's a lot that has been so hidden from us, and it's not even in like the remotest past. past. But before we get there, just so you guys know, um, as you see, Bill Gates, uh, Kraft Heinz Company, there's basically a handful, uh, two handfuls, let's say, of co companies that are seeking to buy out and control all the food. Really, it, it's just the, the, the real control, co real control system is trying to control the food so that we don't have good, healthy food. And when you look to Vanguard and BlackRock, you know, these are leading the way as ultimately they are part of the control mix. Again, if we could all just step away from their monetary system in mass, in such numbers uh, that it falls apart into shambles and don't go along with anything else any of them bring up as an alternative, then we can make change. We could really make change. If you thought, you know, something feels different. I always got this salad dressing or I used to get this olive oil and, and something feels different about it. Why does it kind of feel yucky? Well, it could have been just taken over. And this is exactly, um, you know, what, what we've noticed with one particular brand that we did use in the, in the past. And so every time we eat something, I feel into it. And, and, and you know, again, you can negate a lot of the harmful effects just by using your intention and you know there will be those that just simply don't understand this um, and that's okay because you know hey uh, we've grown up in a dark age and that age is changing and if you didn't have the inkling that something was curiously wrong most of your life if not all your of your life you, you may be one that's not really intended to to wake up because there are going to be those that just don't wake up or when they do start to wake up they're just going to ignore it because you know they're happy with the way things are for the most part maybe they bought into the system to a higher degree uh than say you or i but primal kitchen is one that was bought out by Kraft heinz you gotta look at the labels every single time. A Garden of Life, you know, if you thought this was was a good thing, uh, it's owned by Nestle now, so you might find that the labels are changing. Burt's Bees, that used to be trusted at one point in time. It's owned by Clorox. Epic Provisions, General Mills. You know, and Cindy spoke up many times talking about, um, what's that most famous... Um, survival food everybody pushes know. you know those not. those long-term survivals oh, yeah, yeah. Pa pa patriot, patriot patriot like patriot pantry yeah. and stuff <laughs> you know again uh, you'll find channels that share great news uh, about prepping and things like that but then they don't mention to you you know try to eat organic check labels don't eat gmos um, you know, be on the lookout for these particular dyes and, and those particular preservatives, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you know, so you have to really be well-rounded in your knowledge to um, combat every angle at which they're trying to get to us, like Tom's here. You know, I used to have such sensitive teeth, uh, and I don't now, and I haven't for you know, well over a decade, because for well over a decade, I've made my own toothpaste. Very, very simple. Applegate, Applegate is owned by Hormel now, so you can bet they're putting some nasty stuff in there now. Uh, Annie's, you know, this used to be in a lot of the health stores too, uh, General Mills. So, you know, and Zico, coconut water is Coca-Cola, so chances are there's mRNA in that. Larabar, you know, that's another one too. I mean, uh, a long time ago, I used to snack on those things. Honest tea, Coca-Cola. I mean, all these I would just throw out in the garbage at this point in time if you do have them. Wow, what is buried under our feet? Look at this. Uh, you know, India and um, all the things they found in India 
and um, Praveen Mohan. I mean, he's done a great job in uncovering. He's a little sensationalist at times. He gets excited, but that's good. And, you know, it's just amazing what has been built on this planet under our feet. And when you take Earth's time and then you add Tiamat's time to it, because a lot of the relics that we see are actually from Tiamat. A lot of the real odd stuff, like the metallic spheres and, and some of the footprints that we see that truly are millions or maybe even billions of years old are from Tiamat, when the Earth was Tiamat. We've had so many different beings, so many different civilizations on this planet. It's mind-blowing. I know, and you look at something like this, and you look to our education system, and they say, yep, these were built with chisels and hammers. You betcha. And I, I don't know how they get away with selling this continually with our history or just even ignoring history completely. And, uh, you know, th this one was kind of curious. I mean, the images that I got was just really crazy with, with these arches. And each arch, you can see there's a big block missing on the top. And the what I picked up is these blocks are somewhere they are still somewhere to be inserted and in a different time they were inserted which would change like the structure the molecular energy that fills in the archway that you see taking you to different places taking you to uh, have a different experience it does not work in the Dark Age. Everything, the makeup of the Dark Age is completely different than, than other ages. So it, will these be effective in the near future? I don't know if the near future, because we are in the Bronze Age now, but I think what we will get to know is the truth of them. Now, they are kept somewhere, which I think is exciting. Um, now, if they get put into place today, would they work? I, I think, you know, what I see, there would be a little bit of electricity inside the arch, just a little bit, wouldn't be a lot. But when you move on further in the ages and our whole realm and our world changes, then yeah, the etheric makeup would be much, much different. Doesn't this just look strange? I mean, why do you have everybody lined up to go into this building, uh, this apparent museum? It looks like it's out in the middle of nowhere, at least from this angle. And if they opened it up, why didn't they do any landscaping? You know, wouldn't you do landscaping before you open something up for a grand opening? I would think so. Yeah, so it, it says people say they think it's Chicago and the Field Museum. Um, curious, you know, because this is over here a picture of the Field Museum of Natural History. It just feels strange. <clears throat> it really does feel strange. Perhaps <clears throat> no other uh, place on the planet, more so than uh, in our own United States, has been covered up uh, the existence of the civilization that was right before us. We were aware of the quote-unquote Native Americans living in a tribal way, but, but what about before them? And there's definitely uh, genetic trail markers that show us it, it wasn't all coming over the Barren Lang Bridge, as they've said, and it wasn't just the two uh, different families from Mongolia that populated uh, North and South America. Did you know that Disney paid $60 million to paint chemtrails into old movies? Isn't that kind of show you, you know, what, what's really going on here? Yeah, you know, I've heard people mention that before. And here we are talking about a magnitude 8 earthquake that struck uh, the archaeological area of Azampa. This is situated near the majestic Mount Alban, prominent Zapotec urban center. It unearthed a tomb revealing the original colors of its contents. Pretty curious. You know, some of these beings depicted have been depicted in 
uh, and this Mexico, by the way, have been depicted clearly riding in some sort of ship as if they are not from this planet. And then with the red uh, color faces, it gets me thinking about the one that we call uh, Dolly, who was an extraterrestrial uh, that came here. Um, I think what we think, you know, somewhere around uh, the end of the Silver Age uh, and into the Bronze Age. And then, you know, the takeover um, did happen. And what happened was the power structure wanted to erase any sort of vestiges of interaction with beings from other places and so they syst systematically uh, wiped out uh, all the non-homo sapiens as homo sapiens are basically a, a genetically modified version you gotta wonder why do we have a second chromosome fusion why do we have so much quote-unquote junk dna that looks like dna that's just been turned off which is now being turned on by the sun that's why they want you to lather up that sunscreen. That's why they're putting all the aluminum and barium up in the air. Absolutely. You know, there's multi layers to this. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I thought the skin color was curious because it does look like that little girl Dolly. And, and I haven't been able to find this color anywhere. And then we ran across it and here it is. So that was a pleasant surprise when you can find something that you see um, in in your visions and then you get to see it again in the 3d so that other people can see and that kind of helps yeah i wonder how many cactuses out in the desert are like this <laughs> nothing to see here guys now don't worry oh this cactus is giving me a headache meanwhile uh, star system t coronae borealis located 3,000 light years away from Earth, is expected to undergo a nova soon. It'd be a rare spectacle to the unaided eye. And what will that bless us with energetically? Because again, everything is interconnected. Ultimately, we are consciousness. Uh, we are consciousness, somebody said in a comment. Um, so are you guys not human? Well, we're all having a temporary human experience. We haven't all been humans every time we have in incarnated. Um, from what we've gathered, probably up to up to maybe a third of the human uh, beings on this planet have incarnated elsewhere, not on Earth. Uh, perhaps on Tiamat, perhaps, you know, on other planets, because life abounds out there. Again, space is not a vacuum. It's more akin to a very, very, um, it, a very, very light water. So, you know, again, you know how the air, you can move your hand through the air and you could feel the resistance. You could feel the air. Um, blowing by your hand, you move your hand through the water, it has more resistance. Uh, space would be in between the two. Mm -hmm. It would definitely be a, a substance that would be foreign to us, but it's right there. It's right there holding us, coddling us, keeping us somewhat stable, you know, a little bit of a rocking back and forth. Um, but the, I thought this was curious too. If money is the root of all evil, why did they ask for it in church? Yeah, you know why do they ask for so many things in, in church that are that are not good and pure? Why do they scare the bejesus out of everybody in church, saying, you know, you're, you're if you don't believe this, you're gonna go to hell forever? Jump, just jump in the lake of fire if you're gonna go outside this book. You know, why, why? And I think this is an honest question. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and and really, again. When we're out of the physical body, we, we don't have all the same senses. Uh, so that, that all changes as well. This one. Wow. Rama does this sometimes when he's played a lot of Bali. Sometimes you just got to take a nap. You know, if you're feeling it from the solar flare, and you very well might, at this point in time, listen to your body if you need to rest rest listen to what it wants food wise and that doesn't mean fritos and gmos um you know support your body and help it to support you because it is your vehicle 
for this exploration of being a human in this point in time. And the clearer you can get that body, the healthier, the, the clearer y- your consciousness will be as well. Mm-hmm. Yes, and this guy is definitely listening to his body. He's just kind of contorted himself in that position that's going to suit him the best. As always, guys, thanks for being part of the family. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.